I just want to take you through the competition free keyword tool, new application for finding low competition uh, keywords. It's an Adobe Air program. So the first time you install it, it may ask you to install Adobe Air as well. So just do that. But once it's done and run, it should look something like this. Uh, it's auto updating. So in the bottom left hand side here, as you can't see at the moment, but if it needs an update, there'll be a button there saying update and you can click that and it'll automatically update. If you need support, simply click the link as you can see. So you need to log into the program and it will come with a password, a name and password when you first get it, uh, but inside you can change that if you want. Okay, so I'm just going to log in using the default password. And once inside, as I said, you can edit a password or you can start. So I'm just going to go straight through and start. And you come to the first page and basically this is where you put your keywords in. Now you can either import them using this button here from a .csv file, or you can just paste them in, which is what I'm going to do in a moment. But before I do that, I thought rather than just go through the features in the program, I thought it'd be useful to actually show you how to use this kind of in battle, as it were. So I'm going to have a quick run through uh, one way you can use this to find some great keywords for producing your blogs and websites. OK, let's go and copy those. And we know they're all valuable keywords, but we don't know what the competition is like. And this is where we can now go back to our competition free keywords. And where we left that off, we can now paste these keywords in. And if we click Next, uh, we'll need your API keys. Now, the first time you look, you uh, use this application, you'll need to put in some API keys. They're completely free from SEO models. That's where we get the data, the competition data from. Okay, and just use these links above the one to create your free account and the other to collect your links and drop those in. Okay, and then just next through that, and it will go off and it will search for every keyword, the top 10 in Google. It will pull those top 10 results back and it will get and analyze the competition in the way of backlinks and PR, etc. And it will give us a rating when it's finished, which will be traffic like coded in red, yellow, or green. So obviously red ones we're not interested in because they're far too strong competition. Green ones are what we're looking for, nice low competitions, ones that we can use to rapidly get on the page one of Google and build some good profitable sites with. Okay, so with the results coming back now, we can see we have used Office Furniture Dallas is green. Uh, the other ones are red, so as I said before, we don't really want the red ones. Um, now, just to show you how the program does work, we already know there's a domain for this, but we can go to actually check domains. If we, if we haven't checked domains previously, we can go and do a check and it will actually tell us if the domain is available. If it is available, we could purchase it from Namecheap. So let's just go over to Namecheap and have a look at that. So in this case, as you can see, the .com is gone, the .org is gone, but the .net is still available, so that's okay. We can still use that .net. But what I suggest we do, because two of the domain names have already gone, we can actually see any of those ranking, and then that will tell us what we need to do to rank our own, because these will all rank basically pretty much the same. So let's go and see if with a bit of luck we can find one of these. So I'm just going to go to the normal Google search. And let's just paste that in there and we go for used office furniture in Dallas. Okay. And search for that. And let's just have a look down. We are lucky enough to get in the top 10. Dallas office furniture.com. And Sure enough, there we are. Actually, at position seven on page one, we have used office furniture dallas.org. So that's cool. So let's go and have a look at it and see what's got in the way of backlinks, etc. See how strong it actually is. And there's the site. I'm just going to check Majestic SEO. And for used office furniture dallas.org, you can see it's actually got very little going for it at all, which is fantastic. It's actually got one backlink currently. So it's probably a pretty new site, but it's got no backlinkings, but we know it's already on page one of Google. So we know that if we use that domain name and put some content up, then we're likely to easily rank on the page one. And this one looks like pretty much just a one page, a one page website at the moment. 
So put a few pages of decent content up, a couple of backlinks, and you will outrank that one by miles. So you should easily be able to get somebody at the top of page one with that one very easily. Okay, there we are. So from here on the composition free keywords, we can start again, or we can just go back. So let's go back at the moment. You'll see with an export button here, and that will export uh, all this data. So we don't need, if we've got a lot of these in here, we've got 50 or so of these, uh, you want to keep track of them and simply click export. You can come up and save it where you want. I'm going to save that to the desktop. And yes, thank you very much. And there we are on the desktop is my CSV file with that data in it. Finally, you've got a third column, you see commercial intent. This is really a count of the amount of ad words in the Google search. In other words, the more people are buying ads or paying for ads, then the more money they must be likely to be making, or therefore the, the overall commercial intent of that keyword is good. So anything sort of seven or above is pretty good. So we've got 14, which is a full house, and we've got nice low competition. And we've already had a look and we know that that domain name is already ranking on page one with only one backlink. So whoever's watching this demo video, if you have to be the first one to be able to grab that one for yourself, you can probably make a couple of quid or a few dollars uh, simply by putting that website up. Okay, if you enjoyed that demo and you haven't already purchased composition free keywords, I'm sure there'll be a link very close below the bottom of this video. So grab your copy now while it's still available.